In my last video, I talked about optimal ranges for resting heart rate and heart rate variability and presented some of my own uh, data and progress for the past two years for those variables, but I didn't talk much about how I've been able to make progress over the past two years. Now, consistent exercise training would be expected to improve resting heart rate and heart rate variability, but what about other factors? So uh, I've left up my uh, resting heart rate data uh, from the last video just for reference, uh, and I added a little bit more data. I, I included my July data, where, whereas before I did not include that data. So why is that data there? Well, uh, it's possible that weight loss may be driving my improvements for resting heart rate and heart rate variability. Why would I think that? So here's a plot of my average monthly body weight for the same uh, period, so from August 2018 through July 2020. So body weight on the y-axis plotted against time. And there's it, the plots look almost identical. So we can see that I reduced my body weight, then it went back up, then it went back down consistently. And that trend is almost perfectly represented in my resting heart rate data with the exception of uh, you know, my last uh, few months of resting heart rate data with a small uptick in the resting heart rate. So from this, it would seem that body weight may be driving the improvements that I see, I've see i seen in resting heart rate and heart rate variability over the past two years. So let's look at some correlations. Let's investigate a little further. So first, let's look at a correlation between uh, resting heart rate uh, against body weight. So this is now individual data. So each day for the past uh, you know, two, plus, uh, two years, since August 2018 through July of 2020, with resting heart rate plotted on the y-axis against body weight. And what we can see by the black trend line is that there's a, a decent correlation on the border of, of moderate uh, with a correlation coefficient of 0 0.4 um, between my body weight with resting heart rate. So um, the percentage of the variance that's explained uh, by body weight, uh, the percentage of the variance in resting heart rate that's explained by body weight is 16%, uh, which isn't much, but it's, it's, it's a decent amount. And then this correlation between body weight bet uh, with resting heart rate is highly significant, statistically significant, with a p-value of 8.4 times 10 to the negative 29. So what about heart rate variability's correlation with body weight? So we see that here, heart rate variability plotted on the y-axis against body weight. And the higher my body weight, the worse my heart rate variability. Confer conversely, uh, the lower my body weight, the higher my heart rate variability. And uh, we can see that by the red trend line. Now again, this is a, you know, a, a a weak correlation, but it's highly significant, uh, statistically significant. Uh, so just to go over that real quick, the, the correlation coefficient between body weight with my heart rate variability is 0 0.25. Six six percent of the variability in, in in HRV is explained by body weight, and then the p value highly significant 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative 12. So it it looks like body weight. Uh, may be driving uh, a decent amount of my progress in resting heart rate and heart rate variability. Now, one component of body weight maintenance is calorie intake. Now, I, ha I haven't done more exercise over the past two years. I've been uh, consistent, you know, three to four times a week with my strength training and flexibility training, and you know, 15 to 20 miles of uh, walking or biking. Um, so I haven't increased my uh, amount of exercise, um, but I have purposely cut my calorie intake during that time with the goal of getting uh, leaner or as lean as I possibly can, thereby resulting in, in this uh, eight pound weight loss over the last two years. So is calorie intake, is my daily calorie intake correlated with rest heart rate and heart rate, heart rate variability? Let's have a look at that data. So um, first we're looking at a plot of resting heart rate on the y-axis against my daily calorie intake. And for those of you who don't know, I track my calorie intake every day, I weigh all my food, and then I log the amounts of food into an online app that tells me my macros and micros. I then uh, log that data into an Excel file, so I have all that data. And I forgot to mention about my body weight. I weigh myself at the same time in the morning after using the toilet every, every day. So I, I log all of, the, all of these data. All right, so back to the plot. So resting heart rate versus daily calorie intake, and we can see actually a moderate strength correlation here. So the higher my calorie intake, black trend line, the worse or higher my resting heart rate. So that correlation is 0 0.54. 29% uh, of the variability in resting heart rate can be explained by my daily calorie intake. And this uh, correlation is the most significant of all the cor correlations that I've shown so far with a p-value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative uh, 55. Uh, so what about heart rate variability and its correlation with daily calorie intake? So uh, a weaker correlation, but still significant nonetheless. 
Um, and again, you can see that the higher my car, ca daily calorie intake, the lower my heart rate variability. Conversely, the lower my daily calorie intake, the higher my heart rate variability. So uh, the correlation here is 0.14. 2% of the variability in HRV can be explained by my daily calorie intake. And that p-value for this correlation is significant, 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative uh, 5. So if you're looking to improve your resting heart rate and heart rate variability, obviously you want to have a consistent exercise program, but also uh, monitoring your calories, reducing them by a small amount for a long period of time, thereby resulting in weight loss to improve body composition may help, or at least based on my data, it may help. Uh, so that's all I've got. Uh, for more info, you can find me lots of places online. Have a great day.